What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the Beastly Gamer channel and a brand new video. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about PlayStation VR, something I'm super excited about. I'm really, oh god, it's something so new that you don't know exactly how to feel. I tried this thing out, I played it twice now, and uh, I think it's going to be a game changer. Is the very first iteration of PlayStation VR going to be a game changer? Only time will tell. We know this technology is new, it's going to grow, it's going to get better and better, but I just came across something that's a little daunting when it comes to the PlayStation VR, exactly how much space you're going to need square footage in your living room in order to enjoy this thing to its full potential. I'll drop a link in the description. PlayStation VR requires about 60 square feet of space to use and other new details. Sony's upcoming PlayStation VR headset will require about 60 square feet of cleared space to use and asks that players remain seated whenever possible while playing, according to new documentation released by the company. The PlayStation camera, which is required to use the VR headset, needs a cleared play area of about 9.8 feet by 6.2 feet, according to the sales brochure for the device. Quote, Limit your use of PlayStation VR to within the play area. Clear an area larger than the play area of all obstacles before using PSVR and remain seated whenever possible. If the application requires you to stand while wearing PSVR, follow the application instructions carefully and maintain awareness of your surroundings." End quote. The height of the play area will be dependent on how high up the camera is set, according to the official PlayStation Asia site. The site also urges potential customers to try the PSVR at a store or a trial event before purchasing one. Quote, PSVR uses 3D vision technology. As there are individual differences in viewing 3D graphics and feeling or wearing VR headsets, please try PSVR at shops or trial events before purchase, end quote. The PlayStation VR will feature both a social screen mode, which allows players not wearing the headset to play along or just watch what the player is doing via the television. A cinematic mode allows users to watch various movies and PlayStation 4 games on a big screen in a virtual space. The headset can also be used to explore 360 degree photos and videos taken by the device such as an omnidirectional camera according to the site. As with all virtual reality headsets, PlayStation says children under 12 should not use the device. So that, yeah, some people might have an issue with that, but I'm thinking if you're going to be spending this kind of money on the PlayStation VR, you probably are going to have that area, that space that you need, what is it, 9 by 8 feet by 6.2 feet to play adequately. Uh, I got that, as long as I got it, I'm good, right? My living room's plenty of space, I got a nice big ottoman I can slide out of the way. Uh, I did, believe it or not, I did see the, um, the giant cinematic mode when they showed me the demo. When they, they let me play the demo, uh, she was hooking up the game and she was going through the options and then this big ass screen popped up in front of me and I was like, what is that? And, and she didn't answer me. I was just really excited. It was my very first time trying PSVR, but it was about 15 feet away and it looked like I was looking at a screen as big as like a wall in your house. That's how big it was. And so I'm guessing that's what we're gonna be able to stream videos on. I wish that they would allow you to you know, stream your own content. Who knows if PlayStation will at some point in time where you're able to use a USB and plug in your own content and watch it. That'd be really, really awesome. So that's just a little bit more information about PSVR. As far as the space that the brochure tells you you're going to need, I wouldn't try playing this thing in a closed, confined space. I definitely believe that sitting down is probably the best way to play because standing up, you're going to hit people. I mean, we saw a lot of really bad fails. Just look up Wii fails. People playing Wii Sports, people playing all kinds of Wii games, destroying TVs, knocking kids out, all kinds of crazy stuff. We haven't seen nothing yet. It's going to get so much worse with PlayStation VR and Oculus Rift. These kind of fails are going to be the ones that put people in the hospital, destroy TVs, knock Entertainment Center over. Uh, it's going to be just, it's going to be mayhem in the living rooms of America because of VR. And it's going to be worth every single penny. <laughs> you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have enough room in your living room to accommodate PlayStation VR? If not, if you wanted PlayStation VR, how would you play it? Would you move it to another room, a spare room, a bedroom? Uh, you know, kick your roommate out. Do whatever you got to do because VR is going to be the shit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Share the video across the world. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Take a body, 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 take a body